Hello everybody, Marbury here, and I just want to give you guys a quick update, and just tell you where the channel is going. So, I got a TRX4 Bronco uh, for Christmas, and haven't showed you it yet, but I've just been putting tapes on areas that like to tear and I don't know why I put racing stripes on it but I did so there's the body controller right now I'm uh, replacing the servo the old servo broken eh, I don't know what happened but it was uh, almost as if it had no torque all of a sudden it, like, if it had any resistance against anything, it would just, like, shut off for, like, 30 seconds. And, uh, I took it out. I have a Savox, like, 20 kilogram servo, but the wire is too short. Because the wire comes from here. Like, this is where the servo is going to be. And the wire comes to about here. But it needs to go all the way under there and into the channel 1 slot on the TQI uh, receiver. So, I haven't glued the tires yet, but I have taped the tires. It does the same thing. And took the wheels off because the foam got squished from being in one place so long. So I took the tires off, just kind of been cleaning the screws, the screws, um, with this thing, because they're all rusty, so I, I drove it in a ditch full of water, and, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to get some grease to, uh, make the receiver waterproof again, and, uh, Put the, ser put the servo back in and, you know, do all that. And just, not sponsored, but, I mean, obviously not sponsored, but, uh, just, uh, like, suggestion. Dynamite makes a very good screwdriver that is awesome for hobby RCs and stuff. It's, it, it's a ratchet. Like, right now, the thing doesn't move. It's a normal screwdriver. If I do it like that, you can go like this. Like a ratchet. And you can do it the other way if you flick it to the left. So, I've been using this for all the screws. It comes with uh, all the little tips and those. It comes with wrenches and a lubricant for whatever but I put my own tiny screwdriver in there and it comes in a little case dynamite and yeah and that's a mesotech or rock crawler thing had that for a long time it's a toy grade and a hobby grade so it's just kind of been sitting in my uh, toy box and spare high and low gear servos, because that's why I originally took this thing apart. Because this thing got stripped out, and it works. And I put it into crawl mode. Been doing stuff with it. And I'm going to set you guys down for a second. And I have been... Using this battery uh, since I first got it. Let's see the part number and all the specs. You can pause right here if you want to see all of it. But I've been doing a lot of work. I had to replace the ESC because I was stupid and I thought that uh, this wire right here went into the ESC. 
and I cut the wire right there, which actually powers the ESC, and I was wondering, why doesn't my thing work? It turns out, well, I cut the wire to the ESC, not the servo. So I got a new ESC, put this thing into crawl mode, which is what it's meant to be in, instead of trail mode. And it's just been sitting on my bed. I'm waiting for an extension for the servo. And I'm going to get the scale light kit for it soon. And a metal bumper that has a winch and some LEDs in it. And yeah, just a quick update. I'm going to be doing a lot more hobby RC stuff. And so you guys know. Oh yeah, we also redid my room. And we uh, dug out my old Traxxas Stampede. And the motor is almost like blown out. It doesn't go like any more than 15 miles an hour anymore. But I'm going to put a uh, castle brushless in here. Uh, probably like a new ESC, so I can put like a 6 cell lipo, turn it into my basher, probably put metal bumpers on it, uh, upgrade the drive shaft, A-arms, all that, and that's about everything with RCs, and also, really good charger. It's the Easy Peak Plus Nymph and Lipo. You can, uh, like, which type of charge you want. Then you can select the charge rate. And it's really simple. It's easy. And you don't need any skill to operate. And you're going to see a lot more videos uh, with me crawling with the TRX4. And hopefully some in Wyoming, because I'm taking this thing up to Wyoming uh, in the summer. So you'll be seeing this thing crawling on dirt mounds and all that. Well, that's about it. See you later.